body bags were Harleys. people and welcome to the body bags channel I am your new fill-in host the sinister one and if you haven't seen my channel or know of me by now then uh, I don't know what you've been up to but yes I am the sinister one so I've been asked by Derek Bourgier to help fill in for the week. If anyone out there needs some time off and I'm available, I'm more than happy to uh, fill in. And I was really honored to be asked to be a part of the Body Bags channel because there's a lot of great hosts, a lot of great reviews. I've seen a lot of my movies that I picked up recently through the Body Bags channel. Nothing but a bunch of great people who are into the horror genre community and I'm happy to be a part of that. So with that intro I will be doing my first review on the Body Bags channel. And the review I will be doing tonight is Mama Dracula directed by Boris Schulzinger. This is from 1980. Stars Louise Fletcher. She's an actress from One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which is, you know, up there in uh, movie history. Great film. Also, Flowers in the Attic, you know, it's very underrated, but she plays a great role in that. And starring Christy Swanson as well, so. And this one, she portrays Mama Dracula. So, pretty much she's Countess Dracula. She bathes in the bath of uh, virgin's blood to keep her youth, or as they say here, the longevity. Uh, and she has two vampire sons who are twins and they do her bidding, they do her dirty work pretty much. So she needs a artificial blood substitute because in 1980s modern times where can you find the virgin at? You know, very hard to come by nowadays. So she hires this blood expert who goes by the name of Peter Van Blood and hires him for a million bucks to concoct this blood agent and there's this police investigator named Nancy who keeps investigating the disappearance of all these women and so she takes her captive and as she does Professor Peter Van Blood falls in love with her and then the story goes on from there so that's pretty much the plot of the film as far as the characters go they're goofy ridiculous, you know, not far from stupid, but the two twin sons to play those roles, they did, that must have been pretty hard to play a role like that. And they nailed it because they're so ridiculous, you know, but perfect at the same time too. If you're into your 1980s films, this is one that you gotta get. If you're into your vampire comedy films, this is one to get. 
If you're in the vampires just period, then add this one to your collection. Other than that, there's nothing spectacular, there's no gore, um, but it is, it's an interesting watch and, you know, I enjoyed it. Now, uh, you know, Mama Dracula, four stars. I'm just joking. Mama Dracula, no stars. So, if you haven't seen it, hopefully this piqued your interest. You'll go grab it. There's, uh... Like three editions I found. I grabbed this one because I like the, you know, I like the cover art more. This one is a lot grindy and more grind house style, you know, which I enjoy those type of films, you know. So it was on my 1980s list, had to grab it. So Mama Dracula. So please like, comment. And subscribe to the Body Bags channel if you already haven't. I am the Sinister One. Go check me out if you get an urge. And remember, you're not having fun unless you're committing sin. I'll see you next time.